My name is Alan Landers. I'm the Blender Product Manager for the Conair Group, and today we're going to talk about the SB2 Gravimetric Batch Blender Controller uh, that I have here. And for demonstration purposes, we have this hooked over an Ethernet cable to the touchscreen behind me. So I'll set this aside for now, and we'll work from the touchscreen. This page of the uh, SP2 control is what we refer to as the home screen. Uh, it indicates, uh, in this particular example, uh, four components. Component one, two, three, and four. This graphic in the center is the batch hopper. This graphic is the mixer. Um, we also have across the top that the system is in simulation. That only shows up when we're doing demonstrations of the equipment which is useful for training purposes. Also on this page are some basic operator uh, access buttons, access to alarms, access to inventory totals, access to the recipe that you wish to operate, placing the system in stop mode, or placing the system into automatic mode. We have a more button for accessing additional features that we'll discuss later. So to start the blender, the first thing the operator needs to do is access the recipe uh, button. And this brings up the screen for the recipe that the operator would like to execute. So now we're on the recipe page, which is indicated here at the top of the screen. Again, you have the stop and automatic button for stopping the blender and placing it into automatic as well as each of the four components indicated here. The recipe that the operator would like to start is placed into this line that is labeled new. Across here he can touch each one of these and, and uh, change the value for instance. So when you touch that one it shows you the value that it's set to. So for demonstration purposes I'll change this one to say 79 percent and hit the check mark. Now you can see here at the bottom we have a warning in red that it only adds up to 99. This particular recipe entry mode is referred to as extrusion mode where it requires all of the ingredients to add to 100 percent. So we'll just modify one of these. In this case change that to 11 and you can see now we have a green light down here and everything adds to 100. So if we're happy with the particular percentages we have here, we place the system into automatic by pressing the automatic button at the top, which you can see is indicated in the green bar, and the red bar has disappeared from the stop indicator. The system is now operating. Uh, the values that it's uh, creating for the batch are listed here, and of course again the set values here. If you wish to modify this while you're operating, you can do that. You can just do what we did before, and for demonstration purposes we'll just change it back. And then to submit this new recipe you again press the automatic button, which on the next batch will take over and create the recipe change for you. So if we return to the home screen at this point, we press the home button at the bottom, the system returns to the home screen and shows you the operational status of the system. Okay, and You can see again in uh, blue here are the recipe set points that we entered and then in the uh, black is the actual values that it has, uh, has executed. Okay. Occasionally you'll see these small little arrows pop up uh, next to each of the components which indicates that's the component that is dosing at that particular time. Uh, this particular mode of entry, it always starts with the smallest percentage set point, goes to the next largest percentage set point, and then finishes with the largest one. So in this particular case, the system will execute, since these are both set to five, it'll execute either one of these first, and then it'll do the component two. Sorry about that. and then it'll finish with component one here. The graphic in the center is showing the batch itself and you can see the batch weight rise as it completes the batch. 
and then the graphic for the arrow shows that the valve at the bottom has opened up and dumped the, the batch into the mixer. So we can watch this rise for each particular ingredient as it's dosed. You can see the pounds rising. It goes on to hopper two and then finishes with hopper one and dumps out again. This graphic here in the center is the mixer graphic. We have a, a, a green uh, light in the center that comes off and on that indicates the agitator's turning. Uh, we have a yellow bar that comes and goes here that indicates the proximity sensor inside the mixer is covered. When it is yellow, it indicates the proximity switch is covered, which actually prevents this batch from dumping out. This, graph, this graphic at the bottom with the arrow here indicates the, the valve at the bottom of the mixer when the uh, arrow is present, that means the valve at the bottom of the mixer is open, dumping the material into the process. This particular uh, number here is the pounds per hour that the system has learned uh, based on the demand created downstream of the blender. So this particular case, uh, the downstream uh, process is, is taking material at a way at just under 200 pounds per hour. So from this screen, you can really see the basic operation of the system, what valves are operating or should be operating, and the, the gain in weight on the batch hopper here, the turning off and on of the mixer, and the uh, bar for the proximity switch. This little indicator here, uh, this is the normal status of the, the indicator. It turns red if you have some issue with the system uh, mixer. It would give you an alarm. And then this would indicate also down here that it's alarming. So that's the basic operation of the system. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in additional videos to cover basic operation of the system and other entry methods.